Another day, another deadly attack by the Russian troops against Ukrainian civilians, and another what-the-hell moment from the UN. There's been a large missile attack against uh, the city of Kriviri in central Ukraine, during which at least one person was killed and 54 were wounded, another civilian target. Also, women uh, between the ages of 18 and 60 uh, who have any sort of medical education uh, are required to uh, sign up for military service and be available to call upon at any time. We already have a family member who used to be a paramedic and then volunteered uh, to be an army medic. Her brother, who was a sniper, was killed in action a month and a half ago. If you look at the age range, this is uh, starting to look more and more like um, Volume 2 of the Hunger Games trilogy. And while that is going on, while Ukrainian civilians are dying at the hands of Russian invaders, while Ukrainian women are getting ready to risk their lives on the battlefield on par with men, Secretary General of the UN, Guterres, suggested that maybe we should lift sanctions against Russia in order for Russia to rejoin the grain deal. Let that sink in for a sec. Russia invades Ukraine. Other countries introduce sanctions against Russia because it invaded Ukraine. There is a risk of worldwide grain shortage because Russia invaded Ukraine. Russia is refusing to guarantee safety of the grain ships, which are unsafe because Russia invaded Ukraine. And now the man who is supposed to be leading the organization, which is supposed to be re respecting a uh, country's sovereignty and territorial integrity, says that we should remove the sanctions we introduced because Russia invaded Ukraine for Russia to stop endangering the grain supply which is endangered because Russia invaded Ukraine. You following me with that? Both US and UK have been in the news, uh, particularly uh, about the war in Ukraine lately. So uh, US had criticized uh, Russia's fake elections in the occupied areas. I don't think Russians are going to give a shit, but at least, you know, we put ourselves on record that we said something, which is more than some countries can say about themselves. You know, the Russians are trying to justify it, you know, saying that they're trying to maintain the normal life there. Uh, and I have a great idea. Uh, life was normal in those areas before Russia invaded, so there's a super easy way to ensure life goes back to normal in those areas, and that's for Russia to stop invading Ukraine. I'm just, I'm just saying, it's just a suggestion. There is also more evidence that Elon Musk had turned off um, Starlink satellite communications in uh, Crimea area last year to thwart Ukrainian attack in an attempt to retake Crimea and establish the foothold there, thus endangering many lives, and of course, just the overall state of Ukrainian security. Why is this man not getting investigated and charged for certain things by the uh, U.S. security services? I don't know. UK Prime Minister Sunak criticized India for basically asking what stance they should take on the war in Ukraine. India really should know better. What do you think? India knows the meaning of invasion, colonization, expansion, imperialism, all those things. So why do they not know what position to take in the war in Ukraine? Besides, India has gained its independence. It wasn't an easy process. So the current Indian government asking 
UK of all people, their former colonizer, for advice on the subject is kind of an insult to the Indian people. Can't you guys think for yourself? Can't you decide that this is bad, what Russia is doing is bad, and, you know, take a stance of your own? I don't get it. Cuba is not playing. 17 people were arrested on suspicion of recruiting Cuban nationals to fight in the Russian army against Ukraine. And um, there's probably going to be more. The reason this is important is that this sets the precedent. This is likely just the tip of the iceberg. It is very likely that Russia did not just recruit in Cuba. We already mentioned possible uh, similar organization in Serbia. And there's probably more all over the world. Remember, Russia and um, Wagner Mercenary Group all had links in Europe, in the Middle East, in Africa. And so any country at this point might have this kind of operation going on, recruiting their own people, their own nationals, to fight as mercenaries on the Russian side in the war in Ukraine. So we'll probably be hearing more about um, this aspect of the war.